Hey you guys, I'm Sammy. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about basically like sneaker news, how I feel about everything. Um being a female um who like who really likes sneakers and everything. And I'll do it, but I do have some pizza too, so I'll probably do like a little mukbang so do basically a mukbang and we talk about sneakers, so if you wanted to leave, tune in, and we about to head straight to it. I'm trying to see, so this is my go-to, my, like, low-key, my favorite drink, but I saw this at the gas station, and I really don't know if it's good. It's very punch. I want to try it, but I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just save this one just in case if this is a fail. We'll, we'll see. Might as well try it right now. See how it tastes. Yeah. It's cool. Um, it really do give that berry taste, which is fine with me. Um, when I get it again. I'll get it again. Um, I got some pizza from Domino's. Um, it's pepperoni. Kind of want to talk about kind of like how sneaker sneaker culture is low key going back to how it kind of used to be. Um, totally not exactly how it was, um, but it's starting to go back to like before. I would say before. 2020 era before everybody knew about box oh that's black olives if y'all try to figure out what that is but it's fine she so just going back to like before before box era which i kind of like because the fact that it's more reachable to everybody um like if you go into a store or if you want to order them off off of online, like Lucky Greens, those were a shoe I know people were talking about at, at the beginning of the year and everything. And so many people said they want to get them, but to this day, you can still go ahead and pick them up if you want to. Um, I haven't went inside of like. Locker or check or anything to see if they have to shoot inside the store. But online, especially for right now where everybody is ordering everything offline, I feel like for the shoes to be there when, like in 2020, when there's a whole bunch of bots and everybody was just buying everything to resale, I feel like right now. It's going back to like how it used to be, of uh, how it used to be and how it was, how it's supposed to be. I feel like before everybody who claimed they were sneakerheads, because the fact that for once in a time you couldn't get not one pair of Jordan ones. Like everybody bought them. It was like. If they knew a Jordan one was coming out, they bought every pair. But now, in the recent cops and everything, you're able to buy them from the store and everything. You do have like highly uh, anticipated shoes like the Jordan SB. Um, what was it, the Pine Greens? It had like a gum bottom on it. I might put a picture up here of what it would look like. 
but those shoes, um, those did pretty good. And I know there's a lot of debate of, oh, you should leave that shoe for like the people who actually skate. And then some people was like, well, I play basketball, so why can't I wear this shoe? And it was some people were like, just like wearing them casually, like, oh, I like Jordans, but that's just a nice shoe. And everybody picked up on them. Um, so it's just, I just feel like the shoe is, I feel like is catered to everybody, but I know they made it more so for, you know, the skaters because it has more of like a um, soul for like skate, skateboarders and they tweak certain stuff on the shoe, like the um, midsole and stuff where it doesn't get as scratched as it would as if it was uh, just a regular Jordan 4. So, but I feel like everything has been changing. And for me being a girl um, sneakerhead, I've always liked shoes since I was like, literally like probably my shoe. I like shoes since I was like probably like six or seven to really know what the shoe was. But I've always liked shoes. Um, and I feel like for female sneakerheads, I really like that now female sneakerheads can get um, more recognition and stuff. Like you got Leah May, you got different people. And now they're reaching out to like more of like social influencers and stuff like that to collab with, you know, with doing like certain shoes and like Jordans and everything. I really think that's cool that it's finally being brought brought um brought out for more female creators to make a shoe in um the sneakerhead industry industry. I remember when Nike ID first came out I would spend literally like every, almost literally every, probably twice or three times out of that, out of the week. I spent my time on Nike ID trying to figure out what kind of shoe I would like, what kind of shoe would um, I make or like anything. And I didn't have to buy them, but it was just very, those things of we want to make a shoe and stuff, and it's something unique to you. So I really like that that Nike has that for you know for people, and that sneaker culture really has like grown more to where now as you see it like more now there's like sneaker balls, there's like daddy daughter sneaker balls, mother son sneaker balls, and it's real nice to have those. Um, not a lot of people know what's going on, but it's just different to see everything, how everything combines together. And you can have this and you can have that, like different balls and everything, but include sneakers. Cause I know for me, for a second, I'm more of like a tomboy. So like, when it kind of like certain areas, you can't just wear like sneakers to like a special formal in a, to a, excuse me, to a like a formal ball. You can't wear those. So for them to make a sneaker ball, I feel like that's real nice like right now and they're doing that. So that's my take on that. I feel like sneaker culture is like, a place that brings everybody together it don't matter what race or anything that you are um it brings all us all of us together and just like we all agree on one thing like we all have different opinions but we just know that shoes are just like one of those things y'all kill me right now with what i'm wearing but <clears throat> Crocs, for a second, I'll talk about that, like Crocs, for a second, it was just like, you wouldn't see anybody in them, you would see just like, people who work in them, like, 
nursing positions and stuff like that. But now it's a big movie where everybody's wearing Crocs. Um, what would I say? Like, <clears throat> yeah, everybody's wearing Crocs. For a second, you didn't see really anybody. Um, not of, I would say just like not of my color that I knew of in my personal circle wearing like Birkenstocks and stuff. Everybody's wearing Birkenstocks. Um, Uggs, same thing. But I feel like every shoe, every sneaker, you could look at somebody, I feel like with sneakers, you look at somebody feeling like, oh, them nice, like, those are nice. You look at another person feel you like, oh, I got those, but like, I got it in a different color, but those are nice as well. I feel like sneakers is like universal, a universal thing now where it's more accepted in places where at first it wasn't accepted. Um, like, as I said, like at a formal event or like on the red carpet, you know, you see like actors and like people who play, play sports and stuff wear like sneakers and everything on the red carpet. And at first you did not see that. At first you had to be like, no, you have to wear a suit, you have to wear this, you have to wear that. But now you see basketball players, actors where they wear, they'll wear the suit, but they'll have a nice pair of sneakers on that you that you look at. Or you'll see a dress, which more is coming out better now that you can wear like a dress with some sneakers. Now it, that's debatable about like kind of like where it goes but i feel like we're more evolving to the fact that you could wear a dress with some sneakers now some places i feel like don't wear the dress with the sneakers <laughs> but like now you see rise with like jordan's on under day dress dress suits like women in like actual suits with like some ducks on or some Georgias on or like some Adidas on. You will see that. You will see um more females coming out to wear sneakers now because it's more accepted now to wear it. Whereas I say like maybe not even ten years ago you just might with some with some sneakers on with a dress or like a suit. You looking at them like I don't know about that, but now it's more accepted to where you could wear it. So I feel like it's getting way better. Me being a sneakerhead, um, as a woman, it's starting to get better. Um, certain places, certain jobs, you still like, they're like, you no, don't wear that. <laughs> but I feel like it's being more accepted now that, oh, like, you like shoes. Like, okay, so let's see what you would pair your outfit with that you would wear at work, what would you pair it with? What type of shoe would you wear with? Um, I feel like that gives also women another way to wear any type of shoe that they feel is more comfortable to them than wearing like a a sandal or wearing like heels or wearing flats like ballerina flats um me personally i don't like wearing flats i would rather what's more comfortable for me would be a pair of sneakers or like a pair of bands with like some slacks and a t-shirt or a nice blouse as they would say but and the fact of wearing like you have to wear what is those called pantyhose as a kid I had to wear them and I was like why do I have to wear these I don't like them they're itchy and everything but now it's to the point where if you wear slacks and stuff you don't have to wear like pantyhose and all that it's more lean they're more lenient now 
to wear, like, especially in a workplace where you don't have to wear that. So, it's coming around slowly but surely, but I feel like we made way more progress in the last 10 years of wearing sneakers with clothes, with, like, um, business casual clothes or anything. I feel like with certain things, you do need to wear, like, a heel or something like that, like, period. But I feel like when it comes down to having to work and everything, I feel like it's more the people who don't like it is more of the people who are more like old fashioned or like, you know, up old people who are more wise than us. So I feel like those are the only people that really don't like when we wear like sneakers or something to the workplace. Would I see myself making a shoe or like um collabing with a shoe? I would say yes. That would be one of my biggest biggest dreams is to collab with like Nike or um Jordan is harder so I know that would be like That'd be like up here, but with, that'd literally be like up here. Um, Nike be next, um, Adidas. I could see myself doing it with them. Um, there's a lot of different shoes and people who like would combine. I would collab with, or like a certain shoe, like the Air Force One, I feel like for me, I would like to do a collaboration on uh, Air Force One. That would be probably one of the things that I would like to do. That or a Jordan one for me. Um, I know for me, probably an Air Force One. And once I get in the room, I'll come up with something. I will really come up with something. Um, like the different type of details and everything. Like the way how, what fabrics and what I would want on a shoe. I feel like for me, I feel like that'd be like one of those things that would be top on the list. Like a bunch of list item for me. Um, and dealing with shoes because I love shoes so much. There's a, a black, a black company called, I think it's called Actively Black. Um, I see my dad wear um, a couple of times. He got a couple t-shirts and everything from them. Um, that would be, those, they are, I, bet, I think the actual owner of Actively Black is, he used to be an actual basketball player and he felt like there wasn't like actual representation or he felt like there was an actual representation of black people and everything for us like a company that was for us and everything so um i looked at a couple of his, his stuff as well and like his stuff is cool as well so i do like a um i'll i'll do something with them as well i would like to do something with them as well um that would be like one of the things i would want to do but for the sneaker culture, I feel like it's expanding every single day. More people are starting to learn about like actual sneakers and everything and like the fundamentals and everything. I do want to do one day where I go to the shoe sur the shoe surgeons. Um, he has a class that he usually does and you take different like you just build a shoe basically that you would all that you would like to do and i will i will take one of them classes yeah that would be nice the shoe shoe industry shoe world sneakerhead world all of that i feel like has been grown for a second it was getting kind of out of hand <laughs> not getting out of hand but it was just the fact that like with the resellers and everything it made it hard for like actual sneaker heads to actually buy something like buy shoes and everything and it kind of kind of like made me not want to buy shoes because of the fact that i couldn't get the shoes that i really wanted at the same time so i was like well this made me not want to do like get shoes and stuff but there's always ways around everything 
half the time I just bite the bully and just was like, I'm gonna just get him, even though the piracy is like, it was like a lot. But for the shoes that I really wanted, but the ones that I could pass on, I did pass on them. Um, but I feel like it's starting to get back to how it used to be where you could just go and get a sneaker or look up on Nike, Finish Line, Champs, all of that, and find a sneaker that you really want. I feel like for me, being a female sneakerhead, but also wearing like still wearing like kid shoes but like there's also a difference between of like when certain releases come out like i have to either go into my women's size shoe which i really don't do as much but there is certain sneakers where like um i would have to go and grab a women's a women's size shoe and then also like for like male sneakers, I know the guys always say like the kids always get the best shoes or the women always get the best shoes, but there is some male releases where I feel like sometimes I'm like, why didn't we get that? Like why? I wish I had a bigger foot. <laughs> sometimes because of the fact of I know like the shoe will be nice but I just don't wear that size um, to get the shoe. And then for me, I feel like people are starting to learn more that, you know, at a certain size, you can still wear kids shoes, but I'll keep that on the hush hush. <laughs> So I can still get my shoes, even though it is harder right now. If I feel like for the resale, for re for the people who do resale, I be mad at y'all because of the fact of y'all know y'all can get bank off of us. Me wearing I can certain shoes I wear a size six, some shoes I wear mostly a size six and a half. That's pretty much my pretty much size. It's only literally probably like two or three maybe two pair of shoes that's like Jordans and everything that I have to get a size seven because of the fact that it doesn't fit. But usually Jordans, Nikes and everything, I usually wear six and a half, seven, seven. But like I have like certain shoes where like Jordan sixes or Jordan 12, that six and a half is still kind of like big on me. So I have to put on a size six. So, but I feel like y'all be getting over on us. Y'all, y'all really do be getting over on us. I be so mad because like I look at a size, somebody with a regular size, mid size, probably like a 10 or 11. The shoes be like, maybe like 350, 360. And then I go look at my shoe and my shoe is for 400, like four, 450. I'm like, why am I paying more than them is sometimes? So I feel like it depends also with everything with resale. I feel like reselling, it was okay at the beginning where it was like, oh, it, it, I'm going to tell you the truth. It really was never okay. Y'all was hurting my pockets. <laughs> Y'all was really hurting me. I was like, but I want the shoes, so I'm going to get them. That's how I feel. I really feel like that. I'm like... Do I want the shoes? I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm going to have to spend a little bit more. But now that the shoes are more of, now it's going back to like, I say 2014 to 2016 where you could just pick up the shoe. And like, I say not 2014, 2016, I say 2014 to, to 2018, 2019. You could pick up the shoe and everything, and it wouldn't be a hot commodity or like, oh, I'm getting double pairs and everything. It was to the point where now I had to feel like maybe I had to get double pairs so I could make sure one of my cousins or somebody was good because of the fact of I know they weren't gonna get a pair if they really, if they wasn't looking really looking like how I would look look for shoes and everything. Um, I do say, I do look at like different 
sneaker sites and everything, but like my main to go to is like when Z Sneakerheads is like a good person to look out with. Um, who else? There's different people that to look out with. I know on YouTube, I usually watch like if I want to see a shoe before it comes out or like um, I know those people will either do like a full review full that review or like something where like they showing a shoe i say like my go-to's are like tony d to wild um bull rc um former simpson who else there's a couple other people as well but those are literally my two my three my go-to three for anything i trust him well, I see in like Fomer to tell me like, you know, this is what the shoe look like. And they get full depth reviews. So, you know, they show like the little imperfections or what could have been better or um, what is the best, best shoe out there. Um, so I feel like I, I really like sneakers and everything. And those are literally my go-to three people that I would go on YouTube just to see what shoe is like really gonna be out there and what shoe I really like. That's all I have for you guys today. So I did wanna just shine a light on like being a female um, sneakerhead and cause I know there's a different perspective of being a female sneakerhead than being a male sneakerhead and like how we are progressing now more and how everything has changed within the last probably like three years after everything settled with you know the big bang um of the world but i also wanted to talk about how everything has changed in the last 10 years also and everything's starting to go back to kind of normal but it's still we're still in the um we're still in the motions of everything within the last three years. So I just want to give my input about being a sneakerhead. And I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comments um, how y'all feel about being a sneaker, being in the sneaker world, period, right now. Um, how is it different from, like, if you are OG um, or if you, like, started as me started like me like i really didn't notice anything until i was like probably like six really paid attention to shoes and right now i am like 24 so i did want to um share some like on how everything goes and everything um how everything is different from like 10 years ago where you could wear certain stuff to now where it's more accepted now so I see you on the next one. If you guys, like I said before, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.